We asked 1,400 people if you could say anything you want to anyone with no consequences, what would you say? To the woman in the cube next to me, you smell like cat urine. To our division head, what you are doing is illegal and unethical. Stop blaming headquarters for decisions. To my husband, it's time for us to consider going our separate ways. Alarmingly, 56% said they'd had these concerns locked up in their vaults for over a year. And some for a decade. So here's some BS you can use. Most of us think these problems are just too scary to discuss. So we don't. Our respondents were worried that if they spoke up, they would suffer retribution, an emotional scene, or a loss of a friendship. That's right. But notice what they aren't describing as a potential outcome. Did you hear it? Okay, what you're not hearing is the risks of not speaking up. The reason we so predictably suffer in silence is because when we think about risks, we only think of the risks of speaking up. And give little thought to the risks of not speaking up. We suffer under the naive belief that silence is safe, but it's not. You see, when it comes to crucial conversations, you have only two choices. Talk it out or act it out. For example, one manager wanted to say this to his assistant. Your lying and backbiting has made me not trust you or believe a word you say. You have created a hostile work environment with your fake, sugar-sweet kindness tinged with sarcasm and bullying to everyone. Why would that be so hard? <laughs> How do you think these concerns are showing up in this manager's behavior? You know, avoidance, overreaction, gossip, tolerating underperformance, workarounds, you name it. If he's not talking it out, he's acting it out in a dozen different ways. Here's the big idea. The best way to instantly change how you deal with the scariest concerns in your life is to stop fooling yourself about the risks. Yes, do this. Draw a line down the middle of a sheet of paper. On the left, list all the risks of speaking up. On the right, list all the risks of not speaking up. Then, make your decision. It may be that you don't need to lock your vault and throw away the key. You simply need an honest risk assessment. I'm Joseph Grenny. And I'm David Maxfield. And that's all the BS for today. Sharpen your behavioral science skills by subscribing to our channel for our latest videos and updates. Click here to subscribe, where we always promise to share some BS you can use. I talked to a doctor one time that was literally giving up his practice and moving five states away rather than confront a colleague. I talked to a manager who took a sabbatical and moved across country so they'd have to rent out their house to get their 18-year-old to move out. <laughs>